they do it? The Ant's gonna pick it up. Oh, with the ace up the sleeve, what? it's knocked away. What a huge layout, deep. They beat Rebel 11-8, Flying Rabbits on Universe 10-9, and win over another WUCC side before losing 15 turns to leftovers and absolutely thrashing Steamhug 15-3 but thrashing bad teams is what you're expected to do under the Swiss draw format and not doing that really low as a coefficient. An inefficient coefficient will not get you further in this tournament. Wizards working their way down that open side. Is Yannick Gallant. Oh, that reset space is really messy. All right, he's able to get the piece enough to be on. He's down the sideline. Thinking about the deep, he's going to try and shoot a back out. Oh, there's that. I thought it was going to go too far, but it actually sat really nicely for Thomas Nikolaus. And the Frenchman duly reels it in. The Wizards' first point of the game, finally on the board, but still a couple of breaks down 2-1 to Iron Horse. By the way, up the standings. This is going to go deep. It's going to fade out of this sideline. to throw that disc. As she burns deep. Oh, the throw's going to go up. Couple of receivers there. Harris into the area. Oh, no. Defender Stankovic has to go up early, but he can't. Really needed. Magic is going to shoot deep. All that throws. Got way too much. Try and remove him from play as much as possible. Limit the damage he can oh, do. The throw's going to pop up. It's going to be oh, almost reeled in on the overthrow. Lucy Potter actually managed to get there, but couldn't bring it in. An iron horse. Give it back straight away. Look right the doors. At the end zone, think about jamming in the jam holes. Just take the dish off. Bordeaux is going to go for it. Oh, just a touch too far. A nice cool flick would have been exactly what was needed. The mistake I frequently make with burritos. Just too much sauce. But again, you can be aware of having these cameras on you, and it can affect the quality of your play. Oh, that's a risky one. It's going to go over the first line of defence and. Gonna be mopped up at the back. It is cause for concern and cause to just bring your team together, collect yourselves. You must be a little bit demoralizing. So they all want to talk about Iron Horse. And this is this is because these people don't watch my streams and know me. I, I love things like jersey numbers and sartorial choices. I don't think I've ever seen a team that has such low jersey numbers in the same way that Iron Horse does. There's I think about 15 members of the team and the highest echelon number goes is 19. Oh, just, that's that's pretty nice. How unusual is that? It's pretty classic. It's all we've got. We've got the football world cup going on at the moment. You can watch that over there. No, of course. Who gives crap about the old football world cup? Everyone pushing upfield and getting quite congested a little bit. Again, and you can see just this constant resetting from Iron Horse, swinging it back and forth, with a typewriter slowly pushing their way down the pitch as Wizards react, calling for that match defense. Oh, that's the shot from Iron Horse, and it's gonna, oh. The last game of the Wolverine. Set up, he's gonna stand. And the break shots, well, that's a dangerous throw, and defenders are good at getting into that space. Martin Sibula. Able to recover and avoid the wizards going on a four point run. So now, Iron Horse get the quick score, thanks to the fantastic heads of Dino Sibula. Working it down this fourth sideline nicely. Right in the end zone, just yet, Gallant. On the doorstep. Can take the three back to the center. Nice spot off, maybe going for the double swing. Can't force it in though. He's flipping around trying to squeeze it in. He's going to jam it in the jam hole. Squeeze it down that far side for death. Swing is going to be low. It can't be saved. And this is great field position now for Wizards. Loud shouts of Enzo coming from the sideline. The American Jake Simon's going to pick up. Oh, he's going to swing. Not quite in the end zone just yet. Estelle Riviere has it on the precipice. Going to check the dump off to Calvin Sheng. He's got Simon. I said there's a reset. It's going to take him with that lefty flick. And again, patient and ah, oh, the force comes too far round, and that low comes at the backhand space for Alban Bordeaux. Just pretending to have really bad eyesight. Yeah, that's that's been a long-standing theory of mine. Is here come Iron Horse sending it deep. 
to the ludicrously free Jan Rosina. That has to be a miscommunication. What didn't Hladik do at that point? Gets the big recovery D. Fantastic grab to save possession. And then just launches a hammer for the score. What and a man. Consummate performance. Man after my own heart. I love seeing that expansive style of playing. No fear in that shot to Jan Spark. See it there, right on the spot. Defender tries to get underneath and get a hand in there, but it's just going to go over its hand. And Tanalia will pick up. Need to get a striker going from quite deep. Going to lead him to space. Oh, it's going to sit and float. And uh, he was not the intended target, but I don't think Wizards will mind. Brashova with the disc now for Ryan Horse. Makes the reset back to Kalatova. Find that reset, I say to them, oh, and the defender unsighted and goes beyond him, and the shot's going to go to the end zone. Massive Davidson coverage is going to get beaten there. The receiver got there first and posterized him. It's Hladik, and he's been having a stellar game so far. The little stand up player for Iron Horse. Massive Davidson comes straight on the force, and maybe got round enough to force too much. Wizards on the move now. That was a fantastic crowd by Zara Harrison getting horizontal to save possession on the up line. I know her. I think the whole world's going to know her if she keeps making plays like that. She goes with the desperation hook in the end. Well, the high stall and can't get the right edge on it. Held on for long enough to make the catch. Oh, and has to require a bid. Can't save it. And Wizards going to by the timeout, losing all his fantasy points. The lead to uh, being turnouts is people get tunnel vision. They get locked into the play that was called in the timeout and they become addicted to it. That it's the only option when in reality it's your option for three to four seconds and then you're right back into your dump reset. This is interesting because obviously we the timeout's become a little bit of a catchphrase about this. And I've been talking to one of my coaches at university about this, Megan. She was. She's one of these players who was it's a good set, and it's the thing about we tend to think about hand that plays in terms of handlers and cutters, but there's more differentiation than that. And certain handlers are good at some things and not good at others. So a handler who's really good at breaking the mark is not necessarily going to be a handler who's really good at throwing deep shots. And handlers who think come up to turns need to have a certain set of skills. And it's I think that's what David goes up the line. Oh, there. the just under thrown. It's just snatched away in the turn because of the turnout strikes again. This is going to go deep. Sarah Harrison's in coverage. It's going to go over her head. Brashova's going to put it into the end zone. An iron horse. Capitalized off the turnover. So the timeout works, but unfortunately not for Wizards. It works for Iron Horse. Actually streamed it after one of them snuck into the bracket. Bahatsky versus Clapton. Oh, repeat of the EUCF final 2017. And many a battle on many a European field as Iron Horse are tearing down the pitch, looking for a break to take the lead, and they do so successfully. And on Field 5 next round, we're going to be streaming Atletico versus Gentle Ladies. So that is... Oh, what a fantastic play! But unfortunately, she couldn't get her hands all the way around it, and that one is a turn over. Yannick Gala just a touch too short to get there. Got a hand around it, couldn't quite secure the catch, and now... And also going to shoot, going to try and break for Harvin. One big shot and whoa! Fumbled and caught on the second attempt by Marketa Pilatova. And oh, managed to find a little inside shot to. That was tidy. Open up a release valve. That's a nice throw. And the lefty back is going to sit over the top. And Shambo is going to pick it out of the sky for the Wizards. They're going to wrap it out of a hat there. Here's Calvin Schenk. Oh, we know this team is full of tricks upset the flow and that's something Wizards have been looking for for the past few points. Nice little leading pass through there. Good cutting in the hand, the space. Throw now in front of Shambor who's been such a reliable cutter generally for this Wizards side. Things going to go around the back. Tannerwald calls off the other handler. Puts his name on it. Here's the ends. That handler set is very cluttered. One clears through and that frees the reset to Udici. Nice lead pass into space. Continuation into the end zone. That's much more like it from Wizards. And again, we see that excellent execution of the dump reset. Dump 
Looking like a zone from the Wizards. Oh, the throw's a little bit too far and it's going to get the turn, just forcing these big lateral swings and maybe the wind. It's not a lot of it, but maybe just to fix it up ever so slightly to take it out of the path. And these mistakes are what has stopped either of the teams from pulling away. Every time one of the teams has a substantial lead, has one to two points and has had the ability to build on it, they've made these kind of mistakes, short field turnovers. To the perspective of Vasily David picks it up and immediately going to put it downfield to Estelle Riviere. Looking for a reset. Oh, tries to squeeze it in, it's going to pop up and oh, it's really the second time. Balban Bordeaux collecting some trash, but just couldn't. Wizards looking a bit confused on defense as to exactly what they're going to do. They're just going to transition into going single coverage, I think. The man open up. What a layout! D! Just bursting out of the traps. It's Ben Tannenwald. Here's Vasi David taking the reset. Trying to be calm and good option. Just Chill, living a bit, there's a blade to Sarah Harris and then the birthday girl gets a goal. This is what happens when the people who get to do stuff are just the people who are arsed doing stuff. That's a hell of a pull by the way by Wizards. I, I wouldn't have let that go out the back. I would have also let that go out the back. But Einhorst choosing to field it and now they're in a really tough position. They're working it out of their end zone and actually they're getting some flow going quite nicely here. There's an inside channel there. Forcing this back in towards the middle of the field. I think it's a bit of radio force middle here. Nice inside break. Should get down the side and oh, big bid is just empty. Becca Rover laid out for it, couldn't quite bring it in. And uh, she's going to take an injury sub as well. Thinks about getting it back off, but said Bonche just goes towards the far side. He's Monta there. Looking around, takes the reset off. Shank comes through into the reset space, but drops it. Teresa still can, oh, defender comes underneath, can't get there in time and needs to throw and go up line without much pressure. Nice strike cut there. Throw's going to sit a little bit, can't quite milk it all the way into the end zone. Receiver's going to attack this near cone and the defender was way off the pace that time and so Ida also going to retake the lead for that. Oh, At its finest, well, it's being broadcast. Yeah, I mean the journalism part. Oh, that throw's going to pop up and Iron Horse going to catch the D and immediately just turn it over. The throw's a bit low. It's the turn. And so Wizards get out of jail free there. Nice recovery defense after the disc pop over the intended receiver's head. Now he finds three downfield and a rare drop from Shambor. And Stankovic, the swing goes into the center. Looking around, not really seeing a huge amount. And it's a bit slow. Fantastic off the line cut. Going to squeeze into this front coat. Oh, just a touch too far. And Balatova can't snag it with that outstretched right arm. And like you were saying, these are small things that they can fix. Just a bit more focus. Some of the intensity, some of the heat has gone out of this game. Oh, that's another throwing error. It got too far inside and it was mopped up gladly by Iron Horse. Faking around, looking for an option, not really seeing a huge deal. And with the defender turns, put it out into space for the back cone. But they just get running. You think they'd have break marks? Nah, break marks are late. You're late. I never denied that. Nice down the line cut there. The continuation is going to pop it up. Oh, Shambles pretty good in the air and got up early enough to get there just in front of the defender. Was pretty, doing a pretty good job of moving it around. Mostly here though. Smart, that they're finding themselves in the right places in fairness to the Iron Horse Cutters. They're not doing anything with any real urgency and there's a big shot to the end zone. Well read and sniffed out. Greedily gobbled up by Kailash. Takes the swing off. So it goes underneath. Oh, just don't know what he saw there, but there was only an Iron Horse defender waiting. He's going to pop it in at the first possible opportunity. And that was a really good work picking off that deep shot, earning the turn. Nice inside shot there. Continuation down towards that far side. Now into the middle. He was swinging around. This is nice here. Shank, the lefty. Nice late to reset. Tannenwald has it. Maybe he's thinking about a shot towards that break side. So they're going to put it into space. Adichie. Looking around and just takes the reset. This is nice patience here from Wizards. Schenk has it. Again, looking for options and not a huge amount going on. That's a nice break because it pop up ever so slightly, but it just got the job done. 
with it. Oh, nice footwork there from Yannick Galland. So, back to zone from Wizard. Three up front. Oh, that's an expansive blade all the way across the field. Nicely weighted and well reeled in. You can see in the centre now, dished off, and Wizard's going to transition. That throws low, but kept alive, and the shot goes. Oh, saw it a bit late, and nice. Strike got a little bit clustered, but gets it off to Yadichi. Now she's going to pivot around. Nice swing into the middle of the field, and they can attack down that break side. This is when Wizards are at their best, when they're getting these breaks and this dump and swing. Nice up the line there. Looking through that inside channel, threading the needle. Ness going to look towards the break side, and he's not going to get there. This is the defender, but there's a pick that's going to bring it back. Oh, and the shot's just behind. Again, this, how many times have we seen that? They get a window, and they rush it, and the throw's not on the spot. And then panic and jam it through. They're just resetting, and transition comes with a huge layout, D. Just throw was a bit soft, it allowed. Neff to come steaming through, peeled off his man to get the block and that could be a big energizer for Wizards. A big part about that low pressure on the dump throw zone leads to a bit of lethargy that you can then try and take advantage of. And they're going to get it all in one as well and Wizards will tie things up at 12. Which is really slick for Ryan Horse actually. They done well of this transition. Big powers purposeful fake and the high release backhand caught with one hand by Pashova. She so frequently does. Tireless running. Alright, so it's up. Oh, it's a pretty squirrely but though in the end just the blade goes to the end zone and it's gonna go over everybody and mopped up at the back. Uh, gonna do a big backhand blade, roll curving all the way across the field. Good coverage, but not quite good enough. And Good signs for them. Galan playing it down the line. Wizards hoping to keep this game going at least a little bit longer. Neff, he's had a really strong second half after a bit of a stuttery first one. And that reckless emergency backhand, the safety blade, giving us reason for a safety dance. So I know he's trying to end it. Nice inside break. Look at the field there. Big fake. Not going on, so has to take the shot downfield. Good coverage actually from Wizards. Always had the inside track. and. Now they've got a break opportunity. They can take it to Universe here. Here's the easy. Gallant. There's going to be a poke somewhere. There was someone like they were double covered, but in the other side underneath. That. They're going to again dish it over to that break side, but the continuation's not quite there on time. They're going to try and squeeze it through. Nice athletic grab with one hand by Ben Tannen. Ward's going to shoot all the way across the field. Oh, the receiver stumbles a little bit, but it's good enough. For Calvin Jake to make the catch and take us onto Universe. The algorithm you approved right once more. How did oh, we ever tell you? Hail the algorithm. Oh, when I was young, when everyone watched anything on TV with my dad, he'd always only pick sides regardless. It's like, well, it's, I'm watching Robot Wars, we're watching Scrappy Challenge, we don't need to pick sides. No, you must choose. You have to pick sides when you watch Robot Wars. Basically, I was on Team D at all every damn time. God damn right you were. Yep. At least one thing we can agree on true champions. So here we are, looking around. This is good coverage from Wizards. Their defense is really wamped up with the game on the line. Oh, and there's the turn. Excellent stuff, and they're right outside the end zone line. So this is the moment for the Wizards to work some magic and spirit us away. Can they do it? But yeah, it's going to pick it up. Oh, with the ace up the sleeve. What? It's knocked away. What a huge layout D from Iron Horse. Shut it down. Whoa. Shut it down. Fantastic stuff from Jakob Juracek. Saving Iron Horse's bacon there. They looked the gift horse in the mouth and you should never do that. The Wizards made to pay and there's the shot under coverage. Oh, it's just going to sneak through. Three Wizards defenders were nearby and none of them could get it. And now Iron Horse running the gauntlet. Thinking about the deep, he's going to fake it and look for a swing option. Here's Juracek, who got that heroic layout D. Magic. Guys are fighting in the middle of the field, it's knocked away! Bianz peeled off to get the block. It's 
So now Wizards, maybe think about getting it all in one. Instead, it's going to be patient. Into the middle of the field, oh, nice grab under pressure. It's Shambor again, not necessarily a surprise that. Dumps off to Tannenwald. Here's Gallen thinking about the shot. Gonna look for the reset. Nice catch. Here's Yadichi, there's a pick downfield. Oh, this is tight. This, this is very is tight. I was very wrong with my call anyway. There's been a lot of turnovers. Most of them down to uh, pretty good defense though. Here's Yadichi. Gonna shoot for the end zone for Chambo, and it's only appropriate that she makes the catch for the Wizards win. Fantastic throw from Jenna Yodichi. Brilliant stuff. Wizards get the universe point victory. They were down 14-12. Three on the bounce. Excellent stuff by the Wizards. Magicking that one, like you say, a rabbit out of a hat. Exhilarating game. I've been Benjamin Reese. I've been Lorcan Murray. And we will see you on the other side. Clapham Bad Skin is up next on this field. It's bracket time, everybody. It's the quarterfinals. Alti.tv